Good afternoon, YouTube. What's going on? To Friendly Neighborhood Mesa, back at it with some destiny. Guys, got a quick PSA video for you guys. I get asked a lot on Twitter and also in the comment section, how am I always maxed out on Glimmer? And it's real simple. Uh, and I'm going to give you some advice on how to not be broke when Rise of Iron comes out. Now, I always have my consumed shell on, which I got from the Challenge of Elders, which gives me additional Glimmer when killing the Taken. Simple concept, right? And a lot of the bounties, like Oryx Hide, where you got to go kill Taken, I go fire up the story mission, Blighted Coven, kill a bunch of Taken. Not only do I get the bounty done, but I get a boatload of Glimmer. And obviously, when we play Strikes and it's the Taken version, lots of Glimmer. What I would recommend you do is go do the Challenge of Elders, okay? Because you can get one of these bad boys right here. Generate additional Glimmer when killing Fallen. Now, I don't think we're going to need a Ghost Shell from Rise of Iron that's specifically for the SIVA infused Fallen, Devil Splice, things like that. Uh, I'm going to show you a clip on screen. When I went to Bungie and recorded the uh, Fell Winter's Peak and every Fell Winter Peak, uh, Shiro 4, his bounties, it just says Killing Fallen. It doesn't say anything like additional, meaning like Devil Splicers or something. So I get a feeling this is going to work well for me in Rise of Iron. Another thing also, I'm going to show you a clip right now where I ask Deej in an interview when I went to Bungie Studios back in July. I ask him, are there multiple paths in Rise of Iron to get to max light level? And here's what one, well, one or two of the answers that he mentions. Uh, we're also giving people more avenues for those rewards. So, Chroma is still there. Infusion is still better. Uh, there are so many different ways that you can reach the top of the light scale. You know, Challenge of Elders is still there. The Three of Coins is still there. So, in that clip there, he mentioned that the Challenge of Elders is still there. Three of Coins is still there. So, I'm going to take that as the Challenge of Elders might be considered still end game activity within Rise of Iron. Now, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm certainly going to check it out. And if you need one of these things, go do the Challenge of Elders. Now, if it's a small arms week, that's the week to farm the damn thing, okay? Back in week one, I'm going to link a video on screen or in the description when it was small arms, you could go in there and do it, just farm it over and over, literally in about four to five minutes. I think the shortest run we did was like four and a half minutes or something. But you go in there with a the high-powered scout rifle, you can go in there with a Titan with weapons of light and just lay into the boss, or actually we were doing, we were going with one Titan who would go at blessing of light, and uh, we would just like, just use our touch of malices, someone would die, that Titan would revive us, and then just over and over. But if it's ever small arms, go into the challenge of elders. now. Probably the new ghost shells when uh, we get Rise of Iron. Oh, look, see, everyone's got that, um, oh, he just disappeared on me. They've got the infection. I lost mine. I had mine earlier on today, and now it's gone. I guess I gotta go play some more Crucible, or maybe some Strikes, and see if I can get it back and get that rep boost again. Um, where was I? So definitely, if it's a small arms week, go in and do the Challenge of Elders, and I'm gonna test it out later in the week after Rise of Iron, if we've gone through all the quests and stories and stuff. I, would, I just wanna check it out to see if it drops higher light stuff. From the Challenge of Elders, you can get one of these bad boys here, any of the House of Wolves weapons, like Lord of Wolves, Queen's Breaker's Bow, things like that, Dreg's Promise. Uh, they drop, uh, shells will drop, and then also uh, class items will drop too. So you could use those all for infusion. So I'm hoping that it is another way to get higher light stuff, because I personally, I always like the Challenge of Elders. Now I know these other ghost shells, they look cool, and I did see a number of the ghost shells from the vendors when I went to Bungie, but I can't show it, can't talk about it, can't whatever. Uh, and I'll just leave it at that, okay? But um, if you want Glimmer, hey, you gotta get one of these that gives you uh, extra Glimmer when killing Fallen. So just a quick PSA, because I get asked a lot how you always tapped out, or not maxed out on Glimmer, because they are tapped out on Glimmer. Anyway, that's it guys, Babble Mode's engaged, so that's it, drop a like on this video, only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter, at Mason, check out my stream, usually on YouTube, sometimes on Twitch, and that's it. I'm out of here, like Vladimir. Hashtag, made it to the end. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. I haven't done that in a while. Bye, guys.